Hi everyone, in this video tutorial I'll try to explain the use of uh, sub-object controller in surface controller in more detail and also I'll try to answer a few questions of you about the transforming subdivisions and also doing uh, custom patterns. So basically we're going to work on the surface and uh, in my case it's a uh, NURB surface and we're going to use a 3D object for uh, paneling for that I'm just going to create a single box as you may know we have two options either we convert this to the table mesh or we can add a 50 modifier on top so we can deform it using our surface here's my freeform deformation modifier all right let's go ahead and create the parametric array well we go with 10 by 20 and we obviously want to change the 50 modifier control points so we say yes to this firstly let's set up the transformation using the surface controller all right right now I have the, my objects on the surface they're aligned but they're still not deformed because we didn't touch the control points yet we'll uh, let me just check the edge faces so we can see them better shake that is good okay we go under the free FFT modifier and we check all the control points here we use the surface controller I'm gonna use one single surface controller for all the control points and since I have only one control points I need the sub object controller to manage the UEW offsets all right now let's pick the surface and update the array um, we better to change the number of the array so we can get the P panels in better proportion okay I think this is good well the first thing I would like to show you is the pattern option here the pattern option let you to choose different kind of pattern based on the geometry and the surface so for example using the running bonds option it creates kind of staggered pattern on the surface by shifting every other row there are other uh, patterns that these probably won't work with the square panel to see their effect correctly you need to have a triangle and hexagon panels now the question is what if you want more variation in your pattern probably a stone wall with different size of stones well there are two approaches in this one is to link each item to its previous item and find the proper position based on the the location of the previous item a tutorial was posted on website on how to use link controller to do so uh, you can check the tutorials on parametricarray.com you can search for link okay here is this tutorial the basic of link controller I recommend you to watch this video in this video we're not doing surface paneling but we're using the link controller to create a random uh, pattern like this but obviously you can use the same principle when you're doing surface controller all right another solution is using the custom pattern tool the custom pattern tool 
is asking for an example. The example is actually a series of objects that represent one module of your pattern that you're going to replicate over the surface. Notice that all the objects which you're going to use as an example must be instances and it's also recommended to use the same object as you used in array. So to create an example I'm just going to create a box just like what we did to create our array and uh, just to show you in perspective this is a box since all the objects in this example must be instance to create variation of the block size we only can use transformation on the instance of objects such as move rotate and scale so let's go ahead and create different variation of this block we're going to create an instance and we're just going to scale it in x direction well I want to have a gap between them on the surface so we push it slightly away from the previous one you probably can do this more precisely so we continue our pattern or better say our example of pattern okay that's enough for now notice that when you're using custom pattern tool the first row and last row of your pattern and also the first column and last column of your of the module must be identical which means you need to, at the end you need to clone the first row create an instance of the first row and leave it there and also for the last column this way program can actually recognize the size of this uh, example and and how it can repeat your pattern on the surface probably need to move this thing a little probably need to move these and here we need to fix these just need to scale this a little bit down all right okay that's good now what you need to do is to select all the objects in example and then click show me an example button here here program asks you about the grid size finding the grid size is pretty easy and straightforward you should count the objects which you have in x direction and here I have five objects in x direction this gives me the first number and then the objects which I have in y direction which is four so my grid is 5 by 4 so you select the grid size and then press the confirm just make sure the pattern is in horizontal mode and then press apply as you can see the objects are following my pattern on the surface well to make it more dynamic and to avoid these straight lines 
because of this straight line I can easily read where the module starts and where it ends. You need to transform the first and last column in, a, in order to avoid the situation. We can slightly shift the entire row to avoid the straight edge at the beginning of the pattern. Again, we confirm our pattern and then you update the array. Here you can see there is no straight vertical gap between the objects. Okay, this was a short example of how to use the custom pattern.